One of our competitive advantages is the fact that it's a very integrated site from the mining operations to the mineral separation plant and from there directly on to customer vessels, which makes it a, an extremely low cost um, operation. Mineral separation plant processes heavy mineral concentrate, which is produced down at the mine. That heavy mineral concentrate is pumped up to the MSP, which is a mineral separation plant, and it's stockpiled wet. We have about three weeks to four weeks worth of stockpile um, up at the plant. And the reason it's stockpiled is that we have to let it dry naturally to get it down to about 5% moisture. Uh, at 5% moisture, we can handle it with the front end loader and we load it into a reclaim hopper. It's conveyed up into the plant where it is heated up to 120 degrees and the final amount of moisture driven off. Once it's dry, we put it across the screen and we remove any oversize such as sea sand, bits of grass or whatever's come through, trash mineral, and then we put it into the plant. The first section of the plant is magnetic uh, separation equipment where we separate this product into magnetics and non-magnetics. Magnetics being uh, ilmenite based and the non-magnetics are rutile and zircon and a bit of trash mineral. The magnetic stream is then processed further uh, across um, high tension uh, separators and electrostatic plate separators uh, where further contaminants are removed. Um, this eventually ends up at the end of the plant giving us three grades of ilmenite product uh, which are made according to spec of the customer. The non-magnetic material moves on to a collection bin and is then uh, further processed via a wet gravity circuit. The uh, mineral is put over uh, spirals and wet shaking tables and the trash material which is the lighter material uh, due to its physical properties, moves off uh, into a tailing stream and the concentrate mineral uh, is collected, further dried and then put through a, another dry process uh, where we've got uh, electrostatic and um, high tension separators and this produces a conductor and a non-conductor. The conductor material is rutile and the non-conductor material is zircon and that's our final products. Uh, after processing, each product has its own dedicated conveyor belt. It leaves the plant undercover uh, and it's conveyed up into a large product shed where it's stored in separate bays. That product is loaded into a reclaim conveyor and exported at 1,000 tonne an hour out through the overland conveyor and onto the jetty for further ship handling. The expansion would involve the um, construction of a brand new wet feed prep module uh, together with an auxiliary dry mill uh, with more or less the same equipment as we've got now but just additional equipment. One of the key things for us on the expansion specifically was looking at minimal interruption to our existing operation and that's really the process that has been followed throughout the study so far. And this stage of expansion is really the first as far as I'm concerned in a very exciting future um, and there would be various expansion um, phases that will follow.